right, let's go see what these bad boys look like with the lights on. Oh yeah, that's nice. Welcome to the Workplay Drive driveway. We got the usual airplanes flying overhead. Um, we're back at the taillight section. After about two years, I've had these uh, Lux taillight tint kits on. Uh, these were probably one of my first few videos on this product. Um, and they've lasted two years, but it's time to rip them off and do something different. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is Lux introduced a new product called Light Wrap. Basically, the, the entire product line is better. Everything is nicely labeled now. You can tell if it's real light wrap. It's got the Lux logo on the back. I'll show you a little bit later what that whole back piece looks like. So you're gonna notice that the original kit was a lot smaller. It, it didn't cover the full uh, blacked out area. And that is because it just needed to basically cover the light area. With the new light wrap kits, they have the light wrap FX series. So they had to drastically change the Challenger kit to be a little bigger to fill in this whole blacked out area. So now you can use the light wrap FX, which would be carbon fiber or brushed metal uh, they have star power. There's a whole bunch of them and I'll, I'll, I'll go through them on screen right now while I'm talking. Um, but what they did was they made this a little bigger so now it fills in the area. So if you only want to cover this area with the Light Wrap FX, you don't have a black border anymore. You just have the Light Wrap FX, say you do carbon fiber, filling in this whole area and then you still have your red there. So that's why the drastic change in size of the Challenger kit. When you're a customer, you're gonna get a full taillight kit just like this. It's gonna have all the pieces to do your taillights plus one spare piece so you can practice on to do your first piece. And you know, they give you a throwaway piece. If you mess it up, no big deal. You always wanna start with that one. So take a look here, you'll find that I had two driver's side trunks. So I picked this one and then I install it. And if I do good, then I can all set. I got a spare piece. If I fail, I have another one to try. You're also gonna get an uh, application uh, microfiber cloth. You're gonna get their prep fluid, and you're also gonna get a squeegee to go along with that. So as, as a consumer kit, you're getting a lot of stuff. And don't forget too, Lux is not meant to be the cheapest, least expensive wrap on the, on the planet. It is the most easy to install. It is the most durable. And they are probably one of the very few, if not the only ones that are giving you preparation solution they're giving you a microfiber and they're giving you a squeegee and everything you need to apply it to your car also labeled and pre-cut to match. So in other words, if you're doing a pre-cut kit, you get everything you need for that price. And don't forget, with the WorkPlay Drive discount, you usually save about 15% off. All right, so today, why are we taking this off? Because I love the red. I love the way the red looks with the gray and the black and I've never wanted to change that. So I've always kind of just been a fan of the center kits. Um, I've done a few cars with the full tint, which is going to be, you know, the full light wrap blackout, and I'll show you that right now. Um, and then, you know, now that they've got the, the new light wrap, it comes in three grades. It's got dark smoke, which is this right here, nice and dark. Then they've got mid smoke, which is what I have, and I'll show you in a minute. And then coming soon, they have light smoke. So they have three grades of tint, depending on your needs. And generally, dark smoke looks the best because it really blacks out the area. But today I'm gonna to try light wrap effects and a mid smoke. So I still, I'm still gonna see the red, but I'm gonna have a cool light wrap effects hex pattern or the honeycomb pattern, which I'm gonna unwrap now. So I bought a lot of this stuff just so I can mess around with it because I really like it. And this is their honeycomb pattern. Let's get the, uh, the Lux paperwork out of here. There you go, hopefully you can see that pattern there. It's a nice honeycomb pattern. And you'll notice the tint is a lighter shade than the dark smoke. So my goal is to try putting the honeycomb pattern on and still seeing the red underneath it. So that's my goal. And again, this is the Lux Light Wrap. I've done a couple videos where, you know, John and I, John from Lux and HemiFam, Ryan, we rolled around California showing people this product before it even came out, blowing people's minds. If you want to see that video, I'll stick it in the upper right right now. Um, but uh, this stuff is awesome. It's easy to apply and we're going to put it on here. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try something different. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off this old stuff. I'm going to put down a fresh new uh, center blackout because I still want this blacked out completely. I don't want to see that white through this mid smoke. So we're going to black out this and then on top of that blacked out area, we're going to wrap this whole red area right here. 
So in other words, I'm gonna use knifeless tape to draw a line right around the border here. I'm gonna lay down some light wrap on top of the light wrap dark smoke. And then we're gonna have nice blacked out centers with a nice honeycomb pattern covering up this area. So I hope that look comes out really well. All right, let's see what it looks like underneath. So September 2016, it is now July 2018, and there's no heat been applied. It's nice and warm out. Let's see how messy this comes off. You guys ready? Perfectly clean. So we've got the old Lux tint. We've got the old Lux tint right here, and we've got the new light wrap. Look at the difference in size there. All right. Anybody want tin kits? Uh, I'll sell this one to you half price. All right, so the first order of business is we're gonna clay this up a little bit because, uh, you know, I got a little bit of ring left over from the tail light and it just feels a little bit sandy almost. So I wanna get this all cleaned off really well. All the edges that I'm gonna be putting light wrap on so there's nothing left but nice smooth surface. As you can see, it's picked up a lot of junk just from that little wipe. I mean, we haven't clayed these in two years since we put the white wrap on, or so the original Lux tints on. So, got a lot of contamination on here. I can just feel it. That feels a little bit better. Let's wipe it off and see what we come up with. Okay, so we want to make sure our original adhesive line from the original tint is gone. Yep, that's nice and gone. Perfect. All right, this feels nice and smooth. Perfect. All right, so that's a that's a perfect clean tail light ready for some light wrap. Don't forget, when you're cleaning or applying um, light wrap or tint, even if you're doing just the middles, um, sometimes they're they're static. They create static, so you want to make sure all the dirt and dust is cleaned out of all these areas. So you're not pulling that in or pulling that underneath your tint because that will ruin it. So you want to make sure you start with a clean surface and clean surrounding. Now my whole car isn't clean. I just clean this area to make sure that I don't bring any contamination in there. All right? And don't forget on the Challenger tails and other taillights, they have these imperfections. These are like uh, mold marks or whatever you want to call them. And they create little areas of imperfections in your tint. There's nothing you could do about it because it's an area of imperfection in your taillight. So just keep that in mind while you're doing your tails that there's gonna be these little areas right here and here that you just gotta deal with. Okay, don't forget to get around the sides because you will be wrapping up and around the sides. Maybe you got microfiber towels that are falling, you know, leaving little bits of dust here on the sharp edges. Just get rid of those too. Okay, so now that we've done it with spray wax, we wanna do another coat with alcohol. I have an isopropyl 70% mix with 50% of that and 50% water. For those of you who are consumers and you buy the actual Lux kit, you're gonna get yourself a sweet bottle of their Magic Prep Spray. And that you would just spray on your light really well and clean it off as well. That'll take off any of the wax and stuff. And again, if your taillights are not smooth to the touch, make sure you grab a clay bar from your local auto parts store and do a quick clay on it. It'll make it so much nicer in the long run. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with that first overlay. They are nicely labeled here. We have the passenger side fender. That's this guy right here. And you could tell that by the angle here, that slope. Now remember, you're going to get two of one of these in the kit. So make sure you start with that one first if you don't know what you're doing. This way you have a practice piece. Okay, so you peel it off the backing. You line it up. Now, I want to start with lining it up with the bottom lines. Let's see how that goes. Nope, too far over. Light wrap, you can peel it right off and start over again. Okay. You don't like the way it lays down, you just keep starting over. You see all those imperfections there? They're going to come out with some heat. All right, so this time I think I got it good. Let's 
So with light wrap, you can pick it up and put it back down until you get it right. And this is my first time applying the new kit. So obviously, having a little bit of fun lining it up. But again, I'm gonna leave it all on camera just to show you how you can work with this stuff and how easy it is to pick it back up and put it back down and still achieve a perfect finish. All right, so you see right there, I got a little bit of give it a little heat and push those right out. Give this whole section some heat, make sure nothing comes back up again. And then we just fold all this right over. Okay, since I'm gonna be applying light wrap right on top of this, I'm gonna make sure this is heated down really well. All right, perfect. Now, so we've laid that down, and as you can see, now it covers all the way from edge to edge. This way, when you put that light wrap effects on, if you have some carbon fiber or something, you're not gonna see a thin strip of carbon fiber, a thin strip of black, and then red. You're gonna see carbon fiber, red to red. It's gonna be perfect. All right, now it's time to do the uh, border with some lifeless tape. And again, we're gonna Go ahead and use our alcohol or our prep solution. I'm gonna stick with the Lux prep solution. What that is, is the same thing as what I've got, uh, distilled water and alcohol. They use a little bit of different ratio than I do. I do 50-50, it looks like they do 70-30. But still, it works. Look at that. All right, I do like their new kit now because uh, it just fills in the whole area real nice. And again, remember I was telling you about those press marks. Those are not gonna go away. And I gotta stop touching the area I cleaned. All right, let's see what we can do with some knifeless. I'm using finish line, but design line is the better tape to use because you can get better curves. So with, with this tape, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna fully cover the red area. And I wanna go to the corner because I'm using um, I'm using the light wrap effects. So I leave myself a good six inches hanging off the edge over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the line. And with this tape, you never wanna pull it. So you never wanna pull it tight. You don't wanna stretch it while you're applying it. Good tip for curves I learned is over curve it and then come back and do it again. So over curve it, peel it off and do it again. And don't be afraid to keep trying. Just whatever you do, don't stretch the stuff. So as you're applying it, just don't stretch it. So I have a nice Order here, we'll get this up and out of the way. All right, I kind of like my lines there. They look good, and you want to look at the center piece. Don't worry about the clear border. You want to look at that center cord in there, and that's the cord that's going to be doing a lot of the cutting. All right. Now that we made a little bit of a mess again um, by touching everything, I'm going to go back, press this down real nice, make sure the edges are good, wrap this around the edge.
All right, let's break out the light wrap effects. You want to get a little extra because you have a pattern to work with here. This specific pattern is relatively large, so I want to kind of figure out a way to incorporate that pattern neatly within my area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to cut a good length that's going to cover multiple taillights. Okay, so I cut a piece bigger than the area I need, and the reason for that is I um, just want to make sure that I do I can line up the the pattern. So I want to see this pattern maybe starting here on the taillight like creeping up a little bit and I'm gonna lay this bottom piece first so this is the part you see and then the top part can just follow along wherever but I really want all this to line up I'm thinking uh, my cut line is gonna be somewhere over here just to kind of give a good full pattern because I want to get a full I want to get a full one right on the red so yeah so if we do it this way so you get one full one here and we do the cut line at the top of the other one Let's see if we can pull that off. Okay. So we got the tips there. Okay. So my goal was to get a perfect pattern along this base here. And that has been achieved. So now now I'm good to, to work this stuff in. And again, any problems with bubbles, you just back it out and bring it back in. When you're cutting the excess off, just make sure you don't uh, screw up your knifeless tape lines. Okay, knifeless tape pulled over. Pull it through. Alright, so I grabbed this small scrap piece to run a quick test because my goal is to line up these patterns. So what I want to do is maybe start over here. Oh, that's perfect. So start over here a little bit further and line up the pattern and then carry that pattern across the taillight right there. Alright, now in the sun, well not direct sunlight, but you can see that there's no trace of red with the mid smoke. Unless you look very closely, then you can see a little bit of red there. But uh, the look I was looking for was still being able to see the red. So, you know, for me, I wanted a little bit lighter. But for anybody else, most people want to see this blacked out look. So this is the mid smoke. I'm sure the dark smoke is going to be even darker. But you can faintly see that honeycomb pattern. It's barely visible during daylight. So if we back up a little bit, it looks like a fully tinted taillight. It's only when you start getting closer that you can begin to see the hex pattern. The hex pattern really comes into play when you are, uh, you know, when you turn the lights on, which I will do right now. There we go. There's your hex pattern shining through. And we'll 
do a little brake light action. See those brake lights? Get some Z Automotive Taser fun going. See both brake and reverse. And that hex pattern. I really, really like it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm thinking I do want to see a little bit more of the red, so I'm going to go with the uh, Lux uh, Light Smoke Light Wrap when that comes out. Um, it's not currently out yet, probably in another couple weeks. Uh, but this way, when the lights are off, I could see more of that red. But right now, the effect I was looking for, let me get out of the sun there. But right now, the effect I was looking for with the honeycomb pattern in my taillights has successfully been achieved. And I think it looks really good. All right, so if this video helped you out in any way, please gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. Don't forget, code Workplay Drive gets you 15% off most of the stuff on luxautoconcepts.net. And as always, thanks for watching.